Ladies and gentlemen, nice to meet you. We are a professional company that develops the IT fusion technology related to the underground pipes. So now, I would like to introduce K-Smart Pipe System, developed to support the real-time monitoring of the underground pipelines. Smart IT Technology Currently, IT technology was expanded to field on the ground, underground, maritime, fusion, and so on. K-Smart Pipe System is applied and fused to the underground pipes. This system can be applied especially to waterworks pipes, sewerage, gas pipes, oil pipes, steam pipes, etc. I'll focus on the description of waterworks pipes. Here are the following orders. First, development background. Second, system introduction. Third, effect. Fourth, installation and operating video. First is development background. Breakages and leaks of aging are caused by the progress of the urbanization. Therefore, civil discomfort and safety accidents are also increasing. And due to repair costs, the cost of maintenance is also increasing. Accident prevention and early detection are very important. In Korea, the national average leak rate based on 2007 is 12.8%. An annual leak is $487 million. So the economic loss will occur periodically because the replacement cycle is 15 to 20 years. Therefore, the central government started the 21st Century Frontier Research Project to reduce water leak until 2001. In the results of this effort, Korea's government participated in March 2009 in the Turkey Water Forum and released the system. This K-Smart Pipe system is getting a lot of attention from worldwide water-related organizations and countries. Second, K-Smart Pipe System in earnest. I'll tell you about K-Smart Pipe System in detail. This system consists of the sensible pipe, the remote terminal device, and the server software. First is the sensible pipe, buried in the basement. This pipe has a pair of sensible cable in the middle of the coated layer of the pipe, and the leak sensor is also connected to the connection point of pipes while burying. The sensible cable is in charge of the detection of breakage of pipe, and the leak sensor is also in charge of the detection of leakage of pipe connection point. In addition, anti-corrosion magnesium is called the cathodic anode, is installed so as to prevent corrosion of pipe in the scheduled interval. The second is the remote terminal device, named as RTD-1000. This is used in order to detect the leaks or damages of pipelines. The pulse signal is propagated from this appliance, and that signal returns from a leak or breakage point with echo pulse type. Then the remote terminal device gets the distance information. This distance information is sent to the computer server through wire or wireless network. The last is the server software. The distance information received from the remote terminal device is displayed through the map so that the operator can see the position of an event intuitively. The server computer also sends an event message to operator's mobile phone, so the operator can confirm the information when the accident occurred anytime, anywhere. I will explain the pipe structure and the connection method for a more detailed description. Look at the two white dots in the middle of cross-section. This is the sensible cables that are inserted into the layer of a pipe coat. A pair of sensible cables has 10 centimeter intervals and the coat's breakage detection function. There is a joint type and a welding type for the connection of pipes and both of them can be used in the system. However, if possible, the joint connection type is recommended. When you use the joint type for the connection of pipes, the leak sensor should be installed on the joint of the pipe under construction. This leak sensor must be tested to verify whether attachment is successful or not at the real field. The diameters of the sensible pipe that can be supported are from 80 millimeters to 1,650 millimeters. This page is showing pictures of the real field construction of pipelines and pipeline construction procedures. For more details, please check through the following video.
And this time, the corrosion-resistant anodes will be explained. The material used for anode is magnesium. You can use this pipe within the coat loss rate of 2% more than 20 years exceptionally because you can get the effect of the anti-corrosion of pipes pinholes. The interval of the installation is like as you can see in the table. For example, in case of soil such as wetlands environment and a diameter of 300 millimeters of pipe, you should install the anode in 109 meter intervals. And now, I'll explain how to verify the sensor cables of pipes under construction. After connecting the sensor cables to each other, you must check the connection states of sensor cables like pictures. If you find out the damage of the connection point, then you have to repair it again. And then if there is no problem on the pipelines, then you should collect the information including the diameter, length, installation date, and pictures of pipe just installed. These data will be used by operators so as to maintain the pipelines while operating the system. In this system, the text box called as TB is used. When you need to test the pipelines at the real field after bearing pipes, you can check it out with a test equipment at this TB anytime. By this time, you can confirm the status such as leakage, breakage, and corrosion of pipes. Also, test whether the remote terminal device works normally or not. This time, I'll explain how to install and operate the remote terminal device. After the construction of the pipelines, the device is installed for automatic surveillance. And as you can see, the table shows the length of pipelines which a device can survey. For example, in case the diameter is 300 millimeters of pipe, the device must be installed in 4.2 kilometer intervals. And there are differences between diameters of pipes. Its installation shape is like in the picture. The device uses a cell phone network basically, but its communication modem can be changed according to the situation of the installation region. Now, this device uses an electric power of 220 voltage, and the communication protocols such as TCP, IP, CDMA, GSM, GPRS, SMS, and so on. This time, I'll explain how to recognize the situation of breakage and leakage. Here are the following procedures. Step 1. Any event occurs at the real pipelines. Step 2. The remote terminal device detects the event and gets the distance information and sends the distance information to the server computer in the real time. Step 3. The server software displays the location on the electronic map. Step 4. The server software alarms to operator's mobile phone simultaneously so that the operators will notice the fact that the event occurred and verify the location on the server. We have references in the variety of the field as you can see. Fields are the transport pipelines related to water, gas, oil, steam, waste, and so on. And now, we have many references related to water among them and are expanding our system to other applications. During and after construction, there are a variety of cases that occurred while operating the system and you are now seeing the pictures collected from real accident fields. In the figure, as you can see, most cases are related to the coat being damaged which occurred due to pebbles, screwdrivers, and backhoes carelessly used, and sometimes there are connection leak symptoms that occurred by sinking or constructing the pipes carelessly. So you need to be careful during the construction of pipes. The third is the effect. This time, I'll explain the effect of this system. First, this system can prevent damages and mistakes by testing the pipelines during construction. Second, operators can share the information and communicate together using the system. Third, that the age of pipes can be increased to more than 20 years, basically, because the anti-corrosion anode is used in this pipeline. Fourth, that the damaged pipes can be repaired again promptly when the breakage event is found so it is possible to keep the initial state of the pipes. Fifth, operators can notice intuitively the fact that any event has occurred because this system displays the location of the accident and alarms the operator's mobile phone. As you know, we can expect a lot of things when considering the above effects totally. For more economical analysis data, please contact us later.
The fourth is the installation and operation video. This video is for the pipe installation. This time, I'll show you how to pile and test pipes at actual fields. As you can see, you have to be careful not to roll using clutches and also check the status of the pinhole of the pipes before piping. This process is called as the pinhole test, which is performed to check if there is coating damage or not while transporting pipes. And after looking into the status of cables attached at the end of the pipes, if a problem is found, repair and use it in the fields. In this progress, we will dig the ground. This time, it is very good for you to make the workspace to be big enough by as much as two pipes lengths to the path of the layout in advance. This step is transporting pipes. After digging the ground, as you can see, when transporting pipes, you have to bind the pipe with a rope. This method is the best way to transport pipes to the construction location without damage. There also is the other way to mount hooks on the ends of pipes. If you want to use it this way, you must handle carefully not to scratch the coating of the pipes. So if the damage of pipes occur, you have to repair the damaged coating at the actual fields. This is the first step for the connection of pipes. First of all, the rubber gasket must be inserted into one pipe and align the two pipes and set the gasket to the end of the pipes without wrinkles. And it is recommended to spray lubricants to facilitate joint assemblage. Next, proceed to the joint assembly setting the joint couplers with a bolt and nut in earnest. And then if the ends of joints touch each other, this progress is completed. When you finish the joint assembly, tape the end of the pipes with the polyethylene coat to prevent additional damage. The following is connecting a leak sensor cable to each other. There are sensor cables on both ends. In the illustration shown, the leak sensor is connected. At this point, primarily the shrinkage tube is used to prevent the corrosion of cables. Secondarily, that connection point is attached securely by sealed tape. And finally, put and attach the leak sensor on the joint as seen on the picture. After the connection of the leak sensor, Electronic cables must be connected to each other. These are used to prevent the corrosion of pipes. In the figure, as you can see, the connection point of electronic cables must be also taped to prevent corrosion. And when you should attach an anode to the pipe, you have to bind all the electronic cables together. And at this time, it is recommended that you keep the anode away from the pipe approximately one meter or more. And you must strip the wrapped vinyl of the anode. As such, once you have done the connection of cables, you must check the connections. In this progress, you will check and verity the status of pipelines using the instrument called as TDR. If you find the fault of cables and the coating damage of pipes, you must repair it again. This job easily proceeds because you can search for the location of the fault point through this equipment. And normally at the end of this progress, you have to collect data such as the installation date, resources, dimensions, and pictures of pipes in each, and insert them into the database. So in the future, these data will be shared when communicating with operators. Next, the hardcover is used to protect the connection point of pipes. It has two pieces. When assembling these, you must put the cover having an air vent on the top of the pipe. Now is the last operation. This is the most important. Because pipelines connected up until now should be well maintained without damage. If sharp objects such as stones or pebbles are thrown around the pipe body, then the earth pressure will break the coating of the pipe. As a result of that, the corrosion or the cable breakage of pipes may occur at this point. By the way, these problems do not appear at the time of the construction. As time goes by, these problems may come out again. Therefore, it is important that you fill up the sand around the pipe body by more than 20 centimeters. At this time, if there is no sand, you may replace it with a new soft soil without sharp objects. This video is for the installation of the test box. In order to diagnose the status of pipelines, sensor cables are exposed to the ground. In the figure, as you can see, if you heat the surface of a pipe, you can easily extract those cables. Using the expansion cables, you can lead cables to the ground. On the ground, you should install the test box in a position that you can see. Therefore, 
Later, you can test pipelines at this place. This video is for the system operation. As some of the construction is complete, there may be diagnosis actions of the pipelines. First, is checking the damage of the coating. Second, is checking the leakage of pipes after supplying water. Third, is checking the corrosion of pipelines. Fourth, is checking the operation of this monitoring system. As you can see in the video, these actions are all performed at this place. When you check the coat damage or the leakage of pipelines, you should use the equipment called Cable Fault Locator. When you check the corrosion status of pipelines, you should use the corrosion monitor. It is very simple to test the remote terminal device through the test box. After the installation of the remote terminal device, when the power supply is turned on, it starts the surveillance of each channel automatically. If any event occurs, it sends the location information to the server, and the server alarms the operator's mobile cell phone. So operators can recognize the event situation anytime, anywhere. The server software is based on the electronic map. Therefore, when an event occurs, you can keep track of the location with that. As operators recognize the event situation through a cell phone, confirm more detailed location information at the server software, and then go to the actual accident field. Smart Pipeline Accident prevention and early detection is important. K-Smart Pipe System will be in charge of this. For more details, please email or contact us through the website www.wacon.co.kr Thank you very much.